The Rise and Fall of Pet Rock, 1975. Dahl sold over 1 million pet rocks for $3.95 each, and became a millionaire. In the mid-1970s, an unusual product burst onto the scene, capturing the attention of millions of people across the United States. The Pet Rock, a simple rock with googly eyes glued on and nestled in a cardboard box with a bed of straw, became an instant sensation and cultural phenomenon. The history of the Pet Rock dates back to 1975, when advertising executive Gary Dahl was joking around with friends about the challenges of pet ownership. Dahl, always quick with a clever quip, quipped that a rock would make the perfect pet. To his surprise, his friends loved the idea, and he quickly began to develop it into a fully-fledged product. Dahl's vision was simple yet genius. He took ordinary, everyday rocks and turned them into something special by giving them individual personalities and whimsical names. He packaged them in custom-designed boxes, complete with straw beds, breathing holes, and care instructions, making each pet rock feel like a genuine, living pet. Dahl's biggest expense was the die-cutting and manufacture of the boxes. The rocks cost only one cent each, and the straw was nearly free. A 32-page official training manual titled The Care and Training of Your Pet Rock was included, with instructions on how to properly raise and care for one's new pet rock, notably lacking instructions for feeding, bathing, changing, and so on. The instruction manual contained gags, puns, and jokes, and listed several commands that could be taught to the new pet. While sit and stay were effortless to accomplish, rollover usually required a little extra help from the trainer. Come, stand and shake hands were found to be near impossible to teach, however, attack was fairly simple, with some help from the owner's force. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel.